this short talk, I speak to Andrea Lukat about how to avoid burnout through managing your thoughts. Andrea also shares how to set clear boundaries for well-being. She speaks about how to avoid manipulation by others and how to live your life to the fullest and silence the inner critic. I create clear thinking and decisive leaders who can amplify their influence. Contact me to find out how I can help you or your organisation. And today our guest is Andrea Lucat. Hi, Andrea. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I'm very fine. Excellent. So before we start, tell me about you. So I'm a hypnosis coach and NLP trainer and a psychological counsellor. And I help people to come back into their power uh, to give burnout and depression no chance. Ah, now that's a really good thing. So how does that happen? How do you stop burnout or depression? So I observed that, especially in the last few uh, years, it became a hot topic in the world. Mm. And uh, I decided to uh, help uh, people out with this issue. Yeah. So how does somebody avoid it, though? What are the steps that they can take? First of all, to become clear of what is uh, consciously. Uh, by asking a lot of questions, um, maybe uh, to learn uh, some certain uh, breathing techniques to calm down and uh, to relax and okay. then to act. So, so basically you're saying that if they can manage their breathing, that will help reduce depression is that what you're saying it's just a little part of it which will certainly help okay then so if someone's someone's listening and they and they have this problem and they see themselves becoming more depressed or more burnt out what can they you know they're sitting here with their pen and paper what actions can they take to to avoid it so there's a saying if you want to uh, go faster to a desired uh, goal than go slower and uh, therefore I would recommend to stop not to hurry and to have a sincere look on a situation where the uh, what is the motivation behind uh, which thoughts are currently running in my mind how are my feelings um, and how am I acting and uh, is this uh, coherent? Is this, is it matching, or is here something not matching? And to have a look on this not matching, and to clear it out, and to become clear. Okay. And how do people maintain healthy boundaries? By communicating their needs uh, and wants powerfully, by owning them by um, knowing what they want and then communicating it out clearly. Okay. What can you share to us about this whole healthy boundaries um, element to well-being? What can you tell us about that? So if we are not sure uh, within ourselves, we radiate it out and the other person is recognizing it on a subconscious level, and uh, if we are sure, uh, we will take a totally different body posture. We will uh, show that we are sec uh, uh, secure, that we are strong, and the other person will feel it. And uh, when we communicate it in such a powerful, strong state, uh, the message will uh, be understood uh, in a different way than if we are uncertain and not sure and weak, uh, it will be recognized. And uh, oftentimes such weaknesses uh, then are misused by, by other people. Okay, so in what way can other people abuse that, that weakness that you're, you're describing there? Like uh, oftentimes uh, manipulating with them, um, letting people do what they don't want, or um, 
abuse it in another way, a different way. Okay, so you've talked about what people can do to avoid it in terms of their own thinking and breathing. And you mentioned that you're a hypnotist. How, how does that help? Uh, so um, most patterns and uh, behaviors uh, come out of our subconscious mind, which is much greater than the conscious mind. And if we are in a position to uh, um, clear these mat- uh, patterns, uh, we will behave in a totally different way. Our voice will uh, sound differently uh, and we will be more aligned with ourselves. Okay. Could we talk could we talk about how you can live your life to the fullest? Yes, is um, to monitor what uh, makes us pleasure and uh, uh, drives us and doing much more of this and uh, being in a positive state and empowering oneself on a daily basis and uh, having a look on what didn't run well so we can learn uh, for the future and uh, having goals where we want to go and uh, then going uh, with passion step by step towards it. And how do you help your clients with that? So we have a great look on where they are today, because if we don't know where we are standing right now, it will be hard to plan the next steps towards where we are going. And uh, we use um, certain questions to to unfold it uh, where we are and um, then we take the necessary steps we need to go towards it uh, It can oftentimes be that a different state uh, has to be changed, that something in the thinking has to be changed or emotionally. And um, so we put all pieces together and uh, uh, integrate it step by step. Okay. How can you empower, how can somebody empower themselves when they are low to remember on all the great things they have already achieved and if someone is like in a depressive state it's uh, oftentimes very hard to remember what uh, ran, uh, what went uh, right uh, we tend to remember everything which went wrong and uh, then to go back and uh, to acknowledge that we all have learned to sit to go and when we were babies that were very great achievements then and to acknowledge it and then to go further what uh, have we achieved in the childhood which was really great and uh, maybe we can connect it and remember uh, the great feelings and situations we uh, had faced then and uh, to concentrate the focus on what went good uh, will change the focus in the present as well. Okay, so how can someone stop the inner critic inside them? First of all, it's a decision. So we have to decide that we want to stop it and then being aware, we have to uh, be like a little observer uh, and uh, watching how we are doing, what we are thinking, what we are feeling. And just uh, uh, playing with this observer role will give you, uh, will give us a totally different perspective on the situation. Mm-hmm. And then with the decision that we want to put it into another direction, um, we can stop the inner critic by saying stop and uh, we can use our body language also to stop it and then pause, think of what we want and then going through it. You make it sound so easy, Andrea. Uh, it really is easy, but oftentimes, uh, but I have to say that uh, it's, um, I believe, the greatest uh, challenge in human development by being our own 
observer and uh I learned that if we write it down on a regular basis, we can monitor it much, much easier because we have a lot of uh, thoughts every day. And um, by writing it down, uh, we can monitor it just easier. And being persistent in this observer role, it's also just a decision and then just doing it. But uh, oftentimes we are not doing it. Yeah, and how do you navigate it when other people are adding to that inner critic and saying that it's just not possible for X, you know, you just cannot do this? How do you quiet those other people? It, 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 is is, is there, uh, just one person on this planet who has achieved it? And if there is one person on this planet who has achieved it, so why can not I achieve it? Before we we wrap up for the day, what should I have asked you that I didn't, in which case then you can say it now? So uh, I just want to repeat the message again because I, uh, I said already, because I, I believe that it is the most uh, powerful message I can share with the world. And it's become and be your best observer. Have a look on the things you like, but also you don't like, and and it will change your life. Brilliant! That's so that's so good. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Andrea. Yes, thank you, Judith, for inviting me. You're welcome, and thank you out there for listening to the Maverick Paradox podcast. Hope you have enjoyed listening to my conversation with Andrea as much as I enjoyed having it. The Maverick Paradox Magazine. The Maverick Paradox Magazine is for the pathologically curious. Written by a swagger of socialized mavericks who are divergent thinkers, the magazine tackles the biggest issues affecting maverick leaders today. You might be a business owner or a leader within an organization who wants to have your thinking challenged, to be exposed to a diversity of thought, or to learn from diverse experts in their fields. If so, The Maverick Paradox magazine is for you. Join the swagger at themaverickparadox.com and engage in the conversation.